Hey, what is up guys? In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the new Dal RC Rocket 45 amp version. Now they released two versions, the 45 amp and the 50 amp version. So this is the 45 amp version. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. We're going to be noise testing this, comparing it to its more expensive, or we should say bigger brother here, and uh, seeing how well it compares to the older one. Now right out of the box, the packaging is really nice. All right, so let's take a look at the Dal RC Rocket 45 amp version. Now this is rated up to 6S LiPo, which is really nice. It's a huge step up from the previous Dal RC engine and it's rated for 45 amps. It is a Beale Heli 32 ESC. It does have a bunch of nice little ceramic capacitors down here. They're stating that they're somewhat low ESR, uh, which is really nice to see. And we're gonna see that in the testing in a little bit. Now, as you can tell, they also have current sensing, but current sensing for the overall board here. And they do provide you with the current sensing output. As you can see, ground, VCC, current, motor one, two, three, four. Now they've provided pads as well as the connector. And now the connector is really nice because the previous one, a lot of people were complaining, oh no, the, the pins will break, the pins will break on the Dollar RC engine. However, this one with their latest flight controller, which is the F722, I'll leave a link to it down below. It's still not available on Banggood, but I do have, I got a couple on my shop from Dal RC. So if you wanted some, you can pick some up from there. So let's check out what it comes with here. So it does come with the connector. So if you wanted to use your connector for your flight control, you could totally do that. And you can also solder to the pads right here, which is also super awesome. They give you a Rubicon 35 volt, 560 microfarad low ESR capacitor, as well as the rubber gummies to keep this damped. And they do provide you like a little instruction manual here, which is really nice, but everything is clearly labeled and it's really, really well thought out. I really love Dell RC products, to be honest. They have yet to fail me. So another, just to take another quick look at this. As you can tell, the pads are pretty large, so it's going to be really easy for you to solder your motor wires here, and it'll allow more current to pass through because you have more surface area. You just have more copper there to go out all the way through, and we do have a fat, nice little heat sink here. It's different than the Rockets design, the, the, the 50 or 65 amp version, or 60 amp version, I, think, I forgot which one, the more expensive one. It's Bigger Brother, basically. And uh, the layout looks really good, so batteries in the back, motor one, two, three, four, however you can put it any way you want, but you're going to have to just modify the wires, how they're going to be routed to your uh, flight controller or do some beta flight resource remapping. And uh, let's take a look at the back here. So as you can tell, we're greeted with a bunch of caps here. We do have a little coil for the voltage regulator on board, and we do have the current sensor, like I said, shunt resistor right there. And um, overall, it's pretty nice, pretty basic. And um, enough talking, let's just jump to the testing. Alright, so the results are in, and this is the testing result for the Dell RC Rocket 45 amp version. Now, up top here, we have without low ESR capacitor, and on the bottom here, it's the same ESC with the provided low ESR capacitor, which is a 560 microfarad Rubicon. Let's take a look at this. What's this here? Well, this is the throttle noise level test. This is 10% throttle, 25, 50%, 75%, and 100% throttle. On both of these, all the tests I run exactly the same, and this is simulated aggressive flight maneuvers here. Like I mentioned, the top one was out of low ESR, and the bottom one is with a low ESR capacitor. So the reason why I tested it with a low ESR capacitor, because I know I'm going to get a lot of comments where people say, why don't you do it? I wanted to see it. So here you go. You can see it. So it just, it's, it's perfect basically with a low ESR capacitor. All right. So let's get to the good stuff. All right. So let's go ahead and grab the Dal RC Rocket 45 amp version noise color graph and without a low ESR capacitor. There we go. This is a lot better. And let's grab the throttle without 
the low ESR. There we go. These are exactly the same graphs, but this way we kind of get an idea where the voltage was at most of the time. We kind of get a clear reference of how the noise was inside the system. So first things first, let's bring up the Dell RC engine. So here's the Dell RC engine. Let's go ahead and bring its noise and its throttle. There we go. All right. So the top now is the Dell RC engine, which is the previous Dell, Dell RC, uh, four in one flight uh, ESC here. And as you can tell, there is a big improvement here. Um, it is noticeable on the simulated aggressive flight maneuvers. You don't have those low, low dips anymore. So the new 45 amp version is, is, is a huge step up. Not only the fact that in terms of noise here, and um, it's also in the, ta in, in the fact that it's using a lot bigger uh, MOSFETs that can handle up to 6S, which is what everyone really wants now. And they've removed the pins. So this is a huge upgrade. It's not even downgrade. So that, that's, that's really nice out of the box right now so far. Um, throttle, you know, they're about exa almost exactly about the same. I think, yeah, we could say roughly about the same. There's nothing really, you know, um, distinctive that we can distinct between both of these. They're very close to each other here. But um, on the noise, you can totally see that it's doing a little bit better. Those caps are really not allowing the battery to dip so low here uh, on the 45 amp version here. So it is a step up. So that's really good from the Dollar C. And this one costs only $3 more than Dollar C engine, by the way. So it's not that expensive. So yeah, it's really awesome. All right. So let's go ahead and grab the 50 amp version. Is there really a difference between the 45 amp and the 50 amp version from Dollar C? So here's the noise color. So there we go, it's gonna go up here. So the bottom is gonna stay the Dell RC Rocket 45 amp version, which is the one that we just tested, which is the one that the video is about. All right, so here we have the noise color graph and let's get our, uh, what is it called? The throttle color, there we go. All right, so now we have the 50 amp version up top and the 45 amp version on the bottom. And as you can tell here, they're, they're almost basically identical. Actually, um, it's a little bit difficult to tell which one probably did a little bit better. I mean, in terms of spikes and dips, uh, the the 45 amp version did a lot better. But in terms of keeping its consistent voltage closer together, the 50 amp version did better. But the real test will be on a 6S, I believe. But currently on a 4S, they, they should perform about the same. So the real, real test will be on the 6S. So they're, they're both really good ESCs. Now let's put it into perspective. How good are these? Okay, we just compared these three together. Let's bring in the best foreign one ESC that I've tested ever. And uh, let's put it on the radar here. I know you guys probably seen it many times if you're, if you're not new here, but if you're new, this is probably gonna be the first time you've ever seen it. All right, so here's the Tico 32 4 in 1 ESC. And uh, let's go ahead and grab, let me just grab the color version of the throttle. There we go. So up top is the best 4 in 1 ESC I have tested till this day without a low ESR capacitor installed. And as you can tell here, it is basically as good as the Tico 32. Almost, almost. Tico still up top by just a small margin, but any of these three ESCs basically, or four ESCs now, yeah, any of these four ESCs, these are the top four ESCs. Tico 32, 4 and 1, the Dell RC Rockets, and then the Dell RC Engine. Now you might say, why did I put the Dell RC Engine as fourth place now? Well, the Dell RC Engine cannot run the 6S, and these guys can run the 6S. So that's why they're up top. They have the most functionality. However, the Tico 32 has telemetry for everything. But still, the Dell RC engine also has heat sinks, and the heat sinks dissipate heat, allowing more power to keep going through the, the, the FETs, because as the FETs get hotter, the less the current will go through. However, the heat sink solves that in the, uh, in the Dell RC rocket, which is really nice, actually. Uh, I'm really loving this. Finally, we're getting some good stuff. All right, so now you get a clear representation of the best ESC versus the Dell RC rocket, so you get an idea, obviously. Let's go grab the DYS Ariats, and I think it's in the same price range, which was a terrible 4 in 1 ESC, which is a shame, to be honest, because the, Dal Ars, the DYS Aria badge uh, from the single ESCs, I was really hoping that it would transfer over to this 4 in 1 ESC. This is something you really don't want, to be honest. I mean, 4 in 1 ESCs are very difficult to get just right, and that's why there's only basically four of them, or maybe five, and one I forgot about, but just four of them that I, I really, really uh recommend actually so the, you can tell here the device aria up top here is yeah that's just yeah there's a huge difference let's get one that's just a little bit worse um which is a little it's a lot worse the spedix i think is 34 in one esc now don't mistake the spedix is 30 single escs those tested beautiful those tested really good actually um so here's the spedix is throttle 
And here's the Spedex IS-30 4-in-1 ESC. This is something you clearly don't want at all, whatsoever, no matter what. This is very bad. This is not good at all. And as you can tell here, this is this is almost perfect. Do you guys want to see a perfect result? So let, let me just show you what a perfect result would actually look like. Uh, if anyone's new here, also. So here's a perfect result just to get another perspective here. So it's going to be a Tico 32 ESC, uh, the single with a low ESR capacitor. If I could just find it. Uh, where are they? All right. I think this is it. Uh, this was the 8 kilohertz when I was playing with it. Um, all right. Well, anyways, I think I can't find it, to be honest. Well, basically, actually, no, actually, it never needed low ESR capacitor. I just remembered. So this is a Tico 32 with no low ESR capacitor. This is one of the best ESCs. This is basically a perfect result here. So you, you know, you can't. I don't. It's going to be very difficult to get that with a 4-in-1 ESC. Obviously, unless you put a low ESR capacitor. But still, uh, the, these Dell RC ESCs are just superb. They're, they're really crazy. They're really good. Dell RC is doing a great job actually. Um. So I can't wait to test out their new flight controller. I did receive it, which is the F722. It has dual gyros. You could pick through the beta flight if you want the ICM or you want the MPU 6000, which is also phenomenal. And it's using an F7 microcontroller unit, which is even better. It's a lot stronger, a lot faster. Not a lot faster. It is faster and it'll keep you future proof. So that's that's really nice. Um, it's a huge step up there. And uh, if you wanted to get some and you can't find any, I do have a couple at my shop that Dollar C was kind enough to provide me. For you guys, if you guys wanted to purchase some of those, maybe just a couple. I think like four rockets and like seven uh, F sevens. If you want, you can go ahead and check that, check them out and down in the links below. And um, well, that's it, guys. So this ESC tested really good. It's in the top four, um, top five ESCs. I remember which one's the fifth ESC now. It's the Ori thirty two. But yeah, these are for the, these are the thirty by thirty. It's in the top four. So this is actually. Uh, in the top three to be honest the rockets are the second and third best ESC I don't know which order they're gonna come in you decide for yourself But they're performing really really good really good motor sounded smooth nothing weird going on everything is working as planned and As is which is really nice um, And well, I think that's concluded for this video guys I really hope it was useful to some out there and if you guys have any questions or any suggestions Feel free to let me know and check out the links down below this greatly support the channel and uh, if you like this content, please consider joining my Patreon. It'll really support the channel and keep this going. And, well, that's it, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.